Welcome to iLecture Online, and here's our next lesson for how to integrate. And this time, we're going to integrate a very interesting type of integral. It's called the form 1 over x. And here's the example. The integral of 1 over x dx is, and of course, I already gave you the answer, the natural log of x plus c. So, wow, you may, where did that come from? Well, without going into details, let's try to do this with the old power rule. If we say integrate 1 over x dx, and uh, you say, okay, uh, we can write this as the integral of x to the minus 1 dx. And if I use the normal power rule, we're going to add on the exponent, divide by the new exponent. So you say, well, this is equal to x to the minus 1 plus 1 over the new exponent, minus 1 plus 1 plus c. And this becomes x to the 0 power divided by 0 plus c. And so, well, wait a minute. Divide by zero, that means undefined, so there's no integral. And it turns out, yes, there is. The integral of that is equal to the natural log of x plus c. So never try this methodology on, how to, on trying to solve for the integral of a 1 over x form. All right, now that you know that this is the proper answer to the, to the integral of 1 over x dx, let's illustrate that by using some examples like that. Well, first of all, remember that if there's a constant other than 1 there, we can move it outside the integral sign. So this is equal to minus 5 times the integral of 1 over z dz. And then we use the rule that we learned over here. So this is equal to minus 5 times the natural log of z plus a constant of integration. Notice that I put absolute value signs around z just like I did here because, of course, we cannot take the natural log of a negative number. So that's why we safeguard ourselves and say, it can only be the positive value of whatever that number is. And then here, we have an example like that. First of all, we take 1 over 7 out of the integral sign. Oop, and I wanted to write 7, not z. So let's correct that. So 1 over 7 times the integral of 1 over y dy. And then you can see that this is the exact same form that we have over here. So this then becomes 1 over 7 times the natural log of y as a constant of integration. So those are fairly straightforward. Just remember, you can't use the old power rule. You have to say that the, the uh, integral of the form 1 over x dx is simply the natural log of x plus c. And don't forget the absolute value signs. And that's how you do that.